Hey people, welcome back to the Backyard Trails build and episode 21 of building this unreal place. Here is how today is going to work out. We're going to make unbelievable progress and revisit the pump track or the humpback trail, the pumpback, the pumpback trail, <laughs> which was, it's not a pump track at all, it's a pump line because it doesn't return to the start, which is the plan for the future. But ever since building this, and this was called the rhythm section where there were options of pumps, doubles, triples, manuals, it never really worked because from starting up there on the rolling, by the time you got here, it was all so fast, but so nibbly and tight. I never felt like it was the most deserved line of this amazing set of backyard trails. So you can see there's been changes. This has been filled in using the new shark fin, which obviously back in the pump track build time a few weeks ago, we didn't know that shark fin was gonna be there. So this is gonna be a jumpable tabletop, but also a hip into that landing. But ignore how it looks now because we have used every last scrap of dirt back in the dirt pile, which is amazing because it's meant that today at 7 a.m., a 20 ton delivery of topsoils, green topsoil over there could be delivered all the way down here, which means no more pushing a punctured wheelbarrow. Look at this thing. This, that did us well, that did us proud. But forget all that, forget even using the trailer. Finally, dirt is actually where it needs to be and 20 tons of it. That is, people often ask how much it costs, it's screen topsoil, which when it's fresh off the lorry is perfectly moist and so good to compact. And it's about 12, 13 pound a ton delivered, I think, which I think is really good. But we're gonna need more than that with what I have planned to build there. So let's get into it. I'm gonna explain quickly what this is gonna look like and why all the leftover dirt has been dumped here. So previously we came out of the berm, single roller, sink like double roller, tiny tabletop, which was way too small. It worked good for the options, but now, where's my uh, list of notes? I'm gonna build this, which looks like a triple roller, but that middle one, imagine that's twice as tall as it is. So it's gonna be single, big one, single. So you can go pump, step down, step up, pump, jump to manual, triple manual, it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be good for building speed. You're gonna be able to do narwhal transfers. And then further down there with all that dirt, we'll get to that later, but we're gonna build, I think we're gonna to have to go to the building merchants and get some wood. So well, let's dive straight into a build lapse. What would you name that? You need to come up with a name for this. But while you do that, build laps. <laughs> I think that looks just like the drawing and is epic. It's way bigger, wider, taller than it was. I think we added about 40 wheelbarrows just to this feature alone. And considering there was already two rollers and a tabletop, that has now got more dirt in it than anything else here. I'd say there's more dirt in this feature than El Grande Landing or the Great Right Shark, just because of how wide and long it is. It's a massive footprint and it's gonna be so much sicker to ride than was what was 
than was what was there before <laughs> than was. <laughs> Options here are obviously triple pump, pump, manual down the back, triple manual, manual up, pump down, double to manual, manual jump. We're going to try it all and it's hardening up nicely. It's really hardening up. Look at the difference between a section there and then this bit, which is like softer next to it. The sun is going to bake this a lot. So yesterday, ah, am I still burnt? Yeah, quite a bit, mate. Yesterday was serious, wasn't it? Oh yeah. We had Glenn here and Callum helping, which was an absolute game changer. I'll show you the more, the more additional features that are new and that are going to get progressed shortly. The other thing that's been game changing with sort of digging lately and riding are these little puppies from Raycon. And Raycon have sponsored today's video with their everyday E25 earbuds. These earbuds start at literally half the price of all the other premium earbuds on the market. They've got just as amazing sound, fantastic bass. The E25, which is their latest earbud, is their best model yet. They've got a whole range of colours, a variety of colours. They're so good for working at home, especially digging and riding. That for me, when I'm out here on my own, has been the biggest game changer. So I don't have a massive boom blasting speaker to annoy Beck and the neighbors and Moose. So this has just allowed me to get in the zone and dig. There's a link in the description and here to save an additional 15% off of your order. But honestly, these are so good for digging and riding. Straight out of the box, they've got seamless Bluetooth pairing. The compact design gives a proper noise isolating fit. The blue matches your shovel. Matt. Matt. Yeah? The blue matches your shovel. What? The blue matches your shovel. Oh, yeah, they look nice, don't they? Yeah. Sorry, they're so noise isolating, <laughs> it's actually insane. And I've had six hours of playtime out of these, which is really, really cool. So, yeah, nice one from Raycon for helping the progress at the trails. And this is Glenn's creation. I mean, we all mucked in on this, but it was really Glenn that went to town with the shaping and he's absolutely modelled the shark fin, which by the way, we're gonna call the dolphin. When we put it to you guys, what to name this feature, we already had a shark fin further up in the trails, but this is a real one. And everyone said to call it the dolphin with an F, doll hyphen fin. <laughs> Very clever, there's some clever people out there. People are sharp. And it all merges into one amazing pump track mainline hybrid of Steve's goodness and clay formation. And really, Glenn, that is a work of art. The way this is supposed to be ridden, I'm sure you can see by looking at it. I mean, I built the pump track to sort of like Beck to ride out here with me. So she is gonna ride that straight, no doubt, like as a tabletop. You can ride it straight and lead into the next feature. But I think when you start carrying more speed and getting more creative, naturally you'll jump off of that tabletop lip and hip and land out here high which is gonna feel awesome. This is gonna be like one of those dirt spraying, scrubby maneuvers. The problem then we realized is the more you hip, the more you're just gonna get drawn into a hawthorn hedge and absolutely lacerated and just diced apart by thorns. So the solution to that is what we're about to build. When Beck rides it straight, she'll just jump and carry on straight through this double roller, which is perfect. She's still a bit soft, actually. That was finished last night in the shade. It was a long day digging yesterday. So that's gonna bake. But when you hip it, instead of driving straight into these hedges, we're about to build a sort of angled wall ride here. So you go hip right, hip left onto a wall ride. We're gonna have a wooden feature and back into the same landing. And then with the additional 10 tons of dirt and more dirt orders that are on their way, that's where we're gonna build basically a freestyle jump park, but more creative than that. So the trails have, have come on a lot so much we're almost at the end but i think whether the shark fin line meets this line or vice versa that is going to be fast let's give the sun time to bake this feature and we'll build this epic wall ride slight technical issue the eight by four sheet of ply is probably long enough but it's not tall enough, so I'm gonna to have to build these two little feet, like footings, to sit the whole thing on, to bring it up, the top up. It also is too far back. So if we can start it from right next to here and have a bit of backward slope on it. Wall rides are cool when they're vertical, but to have a bit of back lean on it will make it more usable, especially when you're coming at it from quite a vicious angle from the previous hip. So, that's not bad, is it? Mm. That looks How much good. lean do you think, like that? 
Yeah, that's pretty spot and Also, on. do you think it needs to go that way more? A tiny bit? Not, not really, because no. you'll be coming straight out of there. Yeah, you're right. If you're going to make it all the way to the landing, you need more at this end, don't you? I think that's pretty spot on. I've got these big long legs here that are going to run into the hedge, so we'll sledgehammer those in, screw her up. It'll look cool. First wooden feature. Ish. We built a whale tail. This is what happened. Oh my god. He's in. Oh. You oh okay? God. That is solid. Like for my level of carpentry skills and anti qualifications, <laughs> that is a work of art. It's a job in the town. Not even as hard as dirt. What do you think? I think it's cool. It's like a new lease of life to the place, having a bit of wooden. Wooden feature nurse, it's quite a refreshing sight. Do you reckon you could ride onto that and put another wall ride the other way there and jump to it? <laughs> like lily padding. Well, uh, where that guy is. Yeah. Mm. Don't know if anyone's ever done that. Either way, I want to fill that up with dirt so it looks a bit more flush. But as a like a split line that was easily achievable, it's incredible because to build that out of dirt would have been 10 tons. Let's ride it. Even in the time we've done this, which has taken about an hour, this was soft this morning, wasn't it? Mm hmm It is so hot at the minute. <laughs> Australia, you think you've got it bad. Try having this skin and seeing the 30s. Today has got a three in front of it. We're in the pit bike track as well. The obvious thing to do is to follow that berm, go to that, down that straight, hit the next berm, and back up the field. And then this is gonna stay there, roughly. We're gonna back more and more lorries in this week and have an almighty sender jump. But while you guys think about that and come up with a name for all this stuff, we're gonna get our bikes and hit what actually is a reignited pump track. 50% of this whole line has been absolutely rebuilt in 24 hours, which is insane. I need to get Callum and Glenn back more. Me and you, we can do our stuff, can't we? But they really cracked on. Oh yeah. They're not 75 days into it though. <laughs> yes, mate, really? get your BMX. Yep. Let's do it. Obviously the Roland's had to move so the lorry can get all the way down the field. So it may as well stay here before we get more lorries in, but I'm quite lazy, so I'm just gonna use it. It's too hot to pedal today. It's too hot. The pump track. Oh, mate. Oh, that is the best line. Oh, mate. Oh, wait till you ride that, that is the best line. You go so quick. You, could, you don't even have to try and you could probably manual that entire straight if it wasn't sub-Saharan conditions. <laughs> oh! So what should I do first? Other than just ride it, I just rode it first. You Doesn't should hit sense. the wall ride. Wall ride, I, but just you know what? It. Naturally riding it straight, you could jump that double easily. I'm pleased we built a double and not a tabletop. Woo! <laughs> wall ride. <laughs> using all my skate park prowess, was it? No, that I'm was quite sick, low bro. down it. Oh, it works. I'm panting. <laughs> Moose is having to stay indoors, it's that hot. We should make that wider so that when losers like me just slide down it, it's actually landing to land on. <laughs> I'm gonna go a bit higher on it. And I, I sort of jumped the tabletop hip, which feels nice, but this time I'm gonna go triple manual over the triple Big thing, which you guys have already named if you're watching, if you've got this far. I'll do the proper hip out wide and then hopefully that'll give me the line to get higher up the structure here. Get it. Yeah, I'm genuinely struggling. <laughs> it like, it's just drawing my energy out through my pores of my skin. I'm struggling just standing here, mate. Yeah, you look like you're struggling. Why are you on one leg? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Woo! There we go. Oh, that feels good. That's like bike park material. It looks sick. It's got a bit of everything. That is a result. Go on, have a go. You will like it. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so dry. Oh, oh my God. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't water that bit. Did you just see that? Not really, but oh, I can see where it happened. That was 
awful. Attempt two. Woo! Oh, that's sick. Yes, mate. Oh, that's <laughs> yes! Yeah! It's happened! <laughs> nice, isn't it? Yeah, it feels really nice. Daisy slide felt even The nice. daisy slide was legendary. It's been a long time. It's been ages. I'm glad to know that the new tyres are still guilty of <laughs> losing traction at times. Are you up for the wall ride? I'll try it. It is more like skate parky, so I should be able to. Yeah, this is more your bag. Your, I can see your tyre marks there where you rolled this. Try and like get out wider so you naturally, yeah. yeah. There's actually so much angle on it. Yeah, go on mate. I watered it especially for you. I'll give it a whiz. Can I water the wall ride? Yeah mate, <laughs> please do. Woo! Nice! Nice! That was so sick! It's fun, isn't it? Oh wow. Do you see what I mean about having one the other way? Did you hear my tie go? <laughs> yeah, there's even a mark. That's going to be black. Can you see it on camera? Yeah, that's just going to be black with hot tire marks. Burn some rubber. We're going to do a train now. Both wall ride, both through the full pump track. Mate, I think it needs to go back to the top via the pit bike track. I agree. It's already there. I know you, you get drawn towards the daisies. It's not but... really a pit bike track anymore though, mate. It's not. It's taking that over. It's a mountain bike trail. Oh yeah. Let's do it. Imagine if I push it over just as we jump into the Oh my god, straight into the bush. Which way are you going? Oh, I like that. Oh my god, you almost did. Yeah. The whole thing went woo, woo. Oh, it needs more structural integrity. That's a sick line. All I think about is just what to build next. Oh, thanks. <laughs> the additions to the pump track have absolutely transformed it. Like it went from being a nibbly jibbly little panic line into <laughs> something that flows incredibly. It actually flows better than the main line. I wish that was called mainline and it's going to go further. I have to keep water in this dirt pile. Like the sun is pulling all the moisture out of it to the point that it's in less than 24 hours. It's difficult now to lie about 30 hours. It's difficult to even build with. So I'm going to have to soak this all day, keep it wet for what's to come. But we're going to be back in more lorries in. So let's get this video online so you guys can watch it and give us ideas for what goes after the racer, what goes after the shark fin and what goes after the wall ride. We've got three lines. The pit bike track doesn't matter because that can be slotted in after the trails are perfect, but everything is a bit dry, but right now I'm more about progression than perfection. I just want to build more. And now we can get dirt down here 20 tons at a time. It means less wheelbarrows, less trailers and more progress. So you're gonna be seeing bigger things be built in less time. So we'll get back onto the regular lockdown uploads. This place is just gonna be all time for massive jams and sessions. You've still been sending your building clips into Hellfare, our Instagram page. So I'm gonna play some of those now for you guys to enjoy because you've been working hard in your backyards. Thanks to you guys for all your ideas, comments and suggestions. And thanks to Planet Earth for delivering such organic material to create fun <laughs> and imaginative structures to ride our bikes on. And shout out to Wix for making eight before sheets of plywood <laughs> that weighs a ton. Everything's coming together. See you in the next one, legends.
far 